What's up guys, it's Omar Farouk here from Tryon League. Today we got the AFC East predictions and we'll start with the Buffalo Bills. Now this team just ran into some very very bad luck. They were, they had drafted this really good quarterback, uh, EJ Manuel. And he in preseason was turning out to, to really be a good solid player. And you know he got now he's injured and he will he's probably going to start maybe the first game or second game but that's going to be a tough situation to handle and they they got a new coach Doug Marone who's an experienced guy but I this team didn't really do too much in the off season they didn't really do anything to improve and actually I mean their situation is I mean on defense is not that good they're one of their best probably their best player on the team Jarius Bird, who's their safety, he's unhappy. He wants to be traded out of Buffalo. It's not. It's just not really a good situation over there in Buffalo. And their backup quarterback that was going to start for EJ Man Mule was Kevin Cobb, and he got a serious concussion. And this talk that it might end his career. So not really, not really anything's going well for Buffalo, who went six and ten last year. I don't really expect too much out of them. I actually expect them to you know fall back a little because of. I think their schedule is pretty tough. I picked this team to go four and twelve. I think they're. I think this is going to be a really, really bad year. It might be a good year for EJ Manuel, but it's it's not going to be a good year for the whole team. I can tell you that much. The next team is the Miami Dolphins, who went seven and nine last year, and this year they just added some very a lot of firepower on offense. I mean, Mike Wallace from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Great speed wide receiver. He he's gonna play really well for this team. They did lose their tight end Anthony Fasano, but they replaced him with Dustin Keller, who last year was injured a lot, but hopefully he'll be able to stay up on the field this year because he's a very good player. On defense, they added Darnell Ellaby as well as other great players on defense. But Darnell Ellaby, Super Bowl champion with the Ravens, and I mean he he's a, he's a really good player. They also drafted Deion Jordan, who's another linebacker, and he is really, really talented. They did lose Reggie Bush, and now what they're doing is they're having two um, running backs. Lamar Miller is like the feature back, and they also have Daniel Thomas. So we'll see how that works out. Jake Long, for, former first round, first pick in the draft, they let him go. So now this team, like now the focus shifts to Ryan Tannehill in the offense. The defense is going to do fine. I think this might turn out to be one of the best defenses in the league. I mean, they're loaded. On offense, it's really up to Ryan Tannehill. I think he's okay. I just think they might need a little more in that running game and maybe need another receiver. I picked this team to go 8-8. Eight and eight. I think there's going to be a little improvement, but not too much. Not enough to like make any noise in the playoffs at all. Next team is the New England Patriots, and of course they were in the offseason news like crazy because of Aaron Hernandez. He's gone now, and now they and they they also add they added a lot of different players. They got Tim Tebow, which is very surprising, but the Bill Belichick will somehow find a way to, to know how to use Tim Tebow. They got Legarrette Blunt, who has been has looked really good in preseason. He won't be a starting running back, but he can, you know, play behind Stephen Ridley, you know, and be a good like you know goal line back. They got Danny Amendola, and this is because they lost Wes Welker. So you get the next best slot receiver, in, or one of the best slot receivers in the league. Problem is that he has to stay healthy, and they also picked up safety Adrian Wilson, who's a little bit older, but still a very very good player. Rob, Gronkowski, uh, Rob Gronkowski, he's injured right now. Hopefully he'll be able to come back during the season, but they didn't really do too much to address the tight end position. I think they're going I think Bill Belichick is gonna to look to go to his run game more often now. Uh, which is fine. I mean Tom Brady doesn't really care about his stats, he just wants to win. So and when you have Tom Brady on your team anything can happen. I I looked at the schedule and I I'm suspect about this defense for sure. I I don't know if this defense is gonna be great or if this defense is gonna be bad. I really have no idea. But I looked at the schedule and it doesn't look too challenging. I picked this team to go to 
12 and 4. I think they'll go 12 and 4. Next team is probably like one of the worst disasters in the NFL. It's the New York Jets. They lost their best player, Darrell Revis. They drafted Geno Smith, who was supposed to be the answer at quarterback, but in this last preseason game, he sucked. Not only that, Mark Sanchez comes in the fourth quarter, and then he gets a shoulder injury, so who knows how long he's going to be out for. They signed Chris Ivory, who, I mean, maybe he'll be good, maybe he'll not. It all depends on the offensive line. And they also signed another running back, Mike Goodson, but he'll be suspended the first four games. I mean, it's just a big mess. Their defense will be good, and that's because Rex Ryan knows defense, but he doesn't know the offense. And I think that's the reason why this offense is going to be horrible. It's going to be very hard for them to score points. But because of their good defense, I still have this team going 5-11. and 11. They went 6-10 and 10 last year, and I think they'll go 5-11 and 11 this year. I just You can't really win in this league if you don't have a good quarterback. And what they have is just, they don't really have any confident quarterback that can just say, I'm going to, you know, just win. So this team is going to end up, you know, I think they're just regressing and it's it's getting really bad so that's it for the AFC East AFC West comes out probably on Thursday if you're watching this on Tuesday but uh until next time so long